Welcome to Creepy Stuff. Today we journey into the heart of Norfolk, England, to explore the spectral stories of one of Britain's most famous royal residences, Sandringham House. Sandringham is more than just a royal retreat. It's a sprawling estate with a history going back to the 16th century. Most associated with Queen Elizabeth II, who often spent Christmases here. But not everything at Sandringham is as tranquil as its picturesque gardens and stately rooms suggest. There are whispers of uninvited guests, spirits who have lingered long after their time. Let's start with one of the most famous spirits set to roam the grounds, King George V, the monarch who passed away at Sandringham in 1936. He was a beloved king, known for his steadfastness during the turbulent years of World War I. But even after death, it seems, George V's connection to Sandringham remained. It's said that on cold winter nights, when the air is still, you can sometimes catch a glimpse of his ghost. The staff have reported hearing the sound of his slow, deliberate footsteps in the hallways near his old bedroom the rustle of clothes as though someone is walking past. Only, no one is there. Some say they feel a sudden chill, the sensation of being watched. But the most unnerving stories tell of a shadowy figure standing at one of the windows as if surveying the grounds, just as a king once did. And then there's Princess Alexandra's room, Many people who visit or stay at Sandringham say there's something wrong about it. The atmosphere in that room is heavy, almost oppressive. One chilling account came from a guest who stayed there in the 1960s. She awoke in the dead of night to a freezing cold room, despite the warmth of the house and saw the figure of a woman dressed in old-fashioned clothing standing by the window gazing out into the gardens. The figure then turned to her, and in that moment the guest felt an overwhelming sensation of sadness before the apparition faded into nothing. Who could this spectral woman be? Some suggest it might be the spirit of Queen Alexandra herself, the wife of King Edward VII. She loved Sandringham deeply, and after her death in 1925, it's believed she never quite left. But unlike her husband, whose presence seems peaceful, Queen Alexandra's ghost seems more melancholy. Could it be that she's still watching over the place she once called home? Or is she waiting for someone or something that never came? Now for more unsettling accounts. There have been numerous reports of poltergeist-like activity within Sandringham. The staff, many of whom have worked there for years, even decades, are well aware of the strange happenings. Objects move of their own accord, furniture is mysteriously rearranged, and sometimes the sound of door slamming echoes through the halls when no one is around. One particular corridor is notorious for its sudden drops in temperature, as if you've just stepped into an icebox, despite it being a well-heated part of the house. Could it be the restless spirits of the past? Or perhaps something more malicious? Even the estate stables aren't free from ghostly encounters. There's a well-known story among the staff of a stable boy who tragically died in a fire in the early 1900s. His ghost is said to haunt the stables to this day. People have reported hearing the sound of hooves and the clatter of horse-drawn carriages at all hours, even when there's no one around. Others have seen the apparition of a young boy dressed in old stable attire, standing by the horses, watching over them. Some say he's harmless, but there's something deeply unsettling about his presence, almost as if he's trying to communicate can't. And then, of course, there's the Christmas phenomenon. It's long been rumored that strange events seem to peak during the Christmas season. Given that Sandringham was traditionally the royal family's Christmas retreat, perhaps this stirs up memories, both good and bad, from the past. 
Doors open and close on their own. Footsteps echo through empty rooms, and some have even seen flickering lights in the windows, as though someone is wandering the house with a candle. Whether these stories are the product of overactive imagination or genuine paranormal events, one thing is clear. Sandringham House holds more than just royal history. It's a place where the line between the past and the present blurs, where echoes of former inhabitants may still be lingering, unseen, but very much felt. Thank you for joining me on this episode. If you enjoyed today's dive into the ghosts of Sandringham House, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. We've got more spine-tingling tales coming your way soon. Until next time, stay curious and uh, maybe keep the lights on.